All right, guys, what's going on? Forrest here, bringing you another Destiny video. Now, today we're going to be talking about the top five things to look forward to in TTK or the Taken King. So, let's go ahead and get started. These are my top five things I'm looking forward to. Go ahead and name your top five or however you many you want to put down in the comment section below but this is gonna be my top five so let's go ahead and get started with this so coming in at number one we have attack and defense determine light level if you guys don't know that what come ttk they're going to be determining what your light level is going to be from the best gear you have and whatnot and so they're going to basically make it to where you your attack and your defense are both going to matter in terms of your light level. <laughs> I'm just going to be trying my best to get to the highest light level I possibly can. I don't know what the max is, but I really like them taking the feature of your attack and your defense actually attributing to your light level. It's kind of more MMO type of feel, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's what I'm really looking forward to. Number four, bounties can be turned in anywhere. And progress will be shown on screen once you track it. Same as quests. So if you have some a bounty or a quest that you really want to know and you want to keep track of, all you got to do is track your bounties by pressing X or A, depending on which console you are on, and you can actually track them. And what I mean by that is you can pull out your ghosts and it will track your, uh, your bounty and your quest progress. And that's pretty cool. It will tell you what you need and what... What now? Also, we got an update with the bounties. They're going to be better bounties to do, quote unquote. Like, they'll be something more fun and more enjoyable to do. It won't be as tedious. Like, and that's what Bungie is saying. So, let's go ahead and take their word for that. Also, I was going to say that the bounties are, um, or the quests will actually have certain types of rewards, like legendary, legendary weapons. I'm not really sure. You can go ahead and look in the uh, live stream. I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. I'm pretty sure you guys seen it already. But, anyways. Moving on to number three, we have Spark of Light. This OP thing that basically you will get when you purchase the Taken King. What happens is you use it on a character that is not leveled up. So if you make a new character, you can go ahead and use the Spark of Light and it'll boost it to, to level 25. So you can go ahead and get right into the Taken King. That's pretty cool. I really like that. And I think I might actually delete one of my characters and just boost them up because I need to customize. I didn't, I didn't like how he turned out. And I'm kind of bored from how he looks now, so I'm thinking about just deleting my Titan, making him female, and going off of that. A lot of the times, a lot of people, when they restart a character, they just restarted because they either didn't like their class, or they wanted to change their sex. So this way, you can actually do that. Just make sure you keep your armor and stuff into the vault, so when you reach level 25, you can equip that armor and, you know, be back to your old self again. <laughs> Exotic Blueprints has re records and stuff of your year one exotics and year two, I believe. Um, so, this is how it's going to work. Basically, every exotic weapon or armor you've ever gotten is going to be in this type of, uh, I want to say vault, but it's not really a vault. It's just like the records of you having these uh, exotics, and it's pretty cool. I saw it, how um, it has records of all the weapons you've ever gotten, so if you need to make duplicates of that weapon, you can even access those weapons or armor through other characters so that's pretty cool so if you have a thunderlord and you want a thunderlord for your warlock and you have it on your titan well the blueprints there all you gotta do is go to the tower go to where the vanguard is located it's gonna be on your right i believe or your left depending on how you're looking at that and yeah you just basically get that weapon that you want it costs like an exotic shard i believe and some glimmer so yeah it's pretty cool um this can also be done with uh year two and Year two exotics, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I really like that feature. Um, Bungie goes more in depth about it, but that's just a feature I'm really looking forward to. Now, the number one thing is the vault space. Vault space has been doubled. It's still not enough, but hey, Bungie's listening to us. It should have been like this since day one, in my opinion. I actually, I think it should be on a hundred, but Bungie's slowly, slowly getting there. I don't know what kind of difficulties it is to make vault space bigger, but I guess. Let's see uh, how much, how bigger they're going to make. I have a theory, um, that didn't sound right, but I have a theory that come Destiny 2, the vault space is going to be unlimited, or at least like around 500 plus, because I believe that you're going to be able to transfer all your weapons and armor from Destiny Year 1 into Year 2, and your Guardian will transfer, Is already confirmed that it will, and it's going to be next gen only. 
I right, this is just theory, I'm not confirming this, but I believe that this is going to be the case. And so that way, like, they're going to be, oh, next-gen capabilities, we can hold 500 things in the vault. I don't know. Hopefully that's the case. But yeah, that's the top five things I'm looking forward to in the Taken King. Leave your thoughts below. I'm out of here. That's all I have to say. Peace.